again the chat gpt can be used in many forms you can have all the onboarding and all the recruitment acquisitions part from the uh, chat gpt like generating your job description but previously if i have to uh, you know post some job i need to go to google and see search for that engine if my machine operator or forklift operator what does it do if i am entering to a new uh, you know if as an hr i am entering to a new industry i need to understand about their industries protocol their designations how the titles work so now chat gpt will gives you all thing in in a formatted way just you just have to type that what forklift operator does what campus does what quality analyst does they will give you a, a formatted database it it actually uh, save much of your time and energy hello everyone i am jitendra singh banker turned entrepreneur and author of the book perfect mastering the art of selling i welcome you to read my story where i interview authors speakers coaches celebrities entrepreneurs and more today i have with me ms sapna khurana she is a highly motivated professional and passionate individual who consistently strive for excellence with a proactive natural and exceptional interpersonal skills she has made significant contribution to various industries including development manufacturing hospitality healthcare e-commerce and retail her hands on experience spans multiple facets of human resource including talent acquisition and management performance appraisal systems okrs and uh, goal settings training and development rewards and recognition so some of them are these her outstanding work has uh, earned her accolades as the best hr trend setter revolutionary woman manager potential change manager currently she is holding a position of head hr at a private company where she uh, super heads strategic development change management brand awareness initiatives with nearly 15 years of experience she has successfully collaborated with diverse group of individuals including workers mandates consultants employees interns contractors and volunteers her education qualifications includes in the uh, mba in hr and completion of od behavioral course from xlri additionally she is posh certified showcasing her expertise in uh, creating a safe and inclusive work and environment she uh, committed to professional growth and her exceptional skill make her a valuable asset in the driving uh, organizational success and fostering positive change so today she will be uh, discussing with us about her life journey so let us hear from her welcome sapna the platform is open and now over to you thank you jitendra for so wonderful uh, synopsis of my career even though uh, <clears throat> i myself would not able to summarize it so beautifully which you have did so basically yes i have uh, 15 years of experience as jitendra explained so i have done all the uh, human researches and yes since uh, still i'm on i'm on a learning phase and uh, there are many such spectrums which i need to touch uh, and many such which i am con- continuous learning phase. so basically starting from my career where i have started from my hospitality industry i have given my time to hospitality like haldiram stuff and comsub junctions which are very brand new uh, the hospitality junction so basically i have given them time and uh, adjust in the nature that how employee relations works in hospitality section they are very diverse and then uh, i yes i did my opening in healthcare sector as well by giving my uh, time and my you know dedication to jeevan mala hospital which is affiliated to gangaram hospital is very very renowned hospital in delhi and uh, in uh, pan india i would say right so basically uh, Uh, after the journey of hospitality and healthcare i got a chance to uh, work for development industry which we call ngo how ngo runs means how an hr works in ngo kind of thing where volunteers interns and many people you know come together and work for a cause so uh, in that spectrum i did my exercises i brainstormed on the thing that how they work because the policy is in development sector and the profit is actually very important so uh, in uh, development sector you need 
to be very empathetic you need to be very you know uh, related to the cause that how you are delivering it not not to be every time profit generating but in the corporate you can say or in the plant in the profit generation company we call it business minded company so we need to hr need to be very cost centric that what we are getting you know even if we are doing any employee engagement what roi we are getting so it is a basic different concept so i got the chance to work with can kids it is an ngo post to which it was uh, i'm very proud to say that i got a chance to work with fil group who is, which is into manufacturing industry where i got to know the how to work with the workers kind of people. including the corporate so after getting an immense exposure of corporate employees need to know that how the workers work correct so we is the blue collar people we call it in hr terms we have white collars and blue collars so the segment which we worked in uh, i worked in fil basically uh and yes as you mentioned that i am into a uh, position right now heading the hr function in exotic india art private limited and it is a company uh, which is 24 years uh, old we have incepted and uh, it is into e-commerce section and currently we have uh, scattered our way and we have uh, started our retail experiences as well so it's a new journey for us in the retail business as company is also flowering and we are also wanted to flourish ourselves i mean a flourish our career in the business perspective right. so if we talk about human resources there are several verticals on which i have been to in which uh, i have worked on or maybe you can say i have learned on basically so we would be worked on about, the, we would be talking about them as well in uh, like next question but before yeah, 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 yeah. on to your journey so, so i'd like to mm-hmm. know from you like how did your past life has affected the person you actually wanted to be in your life and what you are okay so uh, if you uh, just talk about your first question that how my past life affect so uh, yes what means comes to my is how i came from my previous life and what i have been through and how i have learned less that is i think the question right sindra right okay so uh, the learning which i got is that how to manage employee how to manage a human which is actually a long means a long framework you can say a large spectrum and again a lengthy uh, things to discuss even if you are in the personal level or a professional level discussing any human or uh, discussing any human uh, mindset correct is a vast thing so what i have learned from my past uh, experiences that how you can motivate people how you can influence people how you can convince them how you can coach them actually you can make your work very easy by understanding the others person thinking you know how, that is how the hr works so yes we are right now spread into many verticals like we have many verticals payroll law training development employee engagement talent acquisition management life cycle of uh, employee it has been to various things now but again the uh, middle of the circle says that it's all about human how we are taking care of human so that is what i have learned from my past experiences and i'm still learning that if you know how to motivate the people if you know how to engage the people if you know how to influence them towards their work productive will happen simultaneously simultaneously you grow your business too you need to provide flexibility you need to provide them a scope of innovation so that they can initiate themselves they can charge themselves you need not to plug on to them again and again to rewiring you know it happens mutually and simultaneously when you are giving them a charge out and they will charge themselves so basically this is what my learning is throughout in the my, in the in the initial phase of my uh, experiences i only see that uh, policy is what is what matters you know as an hr the policy is what matter you should be on time should be back there are set of policies and sop that you need to adhere and everything should be in da 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 framework rules and right. regulations is what an hr but going forward my journey i understand that it's not about rules and regulations it comes yes we need to get it get it adhered but we need to understand the other person and we need to amend our policy time by time as the industry want like we have first uh, a revolution called we called it industrial revolution right then we got informational revolution 
and then now we are into social revolution we are into digital revolution we need to understand the people right now this is what i learned from my previous organization and yes i got a lesson and i will deliver in my future calls that i will give a quality of life to my employees right. not only standard of living that just do quality of life to them so that they will be with me always wonderful that's my so, yeah. so if i talk about things you are passionate about in your life what are those things passionate ha ah, and uh, also so, and also the role of motivation and inspiration onto it okay so if we talk about passionate so yes i am very much passionate about the career in human resource i am passionate about employees the human actually as i told you so psychology of human is actually what i am passionate about whenever i have interview many candidates i you know for the same position or for the other positions i understand their their uh, you know uh, their thinking their knowledge of think towards the job how they are coming in from what background they are coming somebody is coming from uh, north of the india or maybe somebody coming from the south of india from the for the same position but they have different kind of set of things right it is my passion to understand and get knowledge from different religion and different regions and how they work together you know how we can make them work together so right diversity and inclusivity is actually uh, my passion to deliver that how they work and how we can make them work this is what my passion is that how to get them engaged if you talk about motivation and inspiration so motivation is uh, i don't know if you have heard the name of mr uh, khanduja he is uh, very well known he is a senior vp in reliance jio however i don't know him personally i just connect with him over linkedin platform and uh, he is very uh, good motivator for me as whenever he posts something on linkedin if you just see it is on the uh, uh, you know experiential learning he gives he never give a theoretical learning he give an experiential learning with a cartoonist form of things which is very inspirational when you say that you know it is not his uh, wording but just for example if you say that have you ever seen the doremon the doremon cartoon yeah. so in doremon what doremon taught you what uh, shujuka taught you means these kind of things means uh, he gave ex- in the experiential learning that how you can relate with them and you can work on them uh, so this is what uh, another and if you name the inspiration then miss seema anand he is a very good tedx talk person so even uh, maybe your next question would be or not i don't know uh, but uh, the yes my eternal wish is to be a tedx talk person and miss seema anand is a very good person who is very good communicator and fluent big person to whom i wanted to follow basically right. is an inspiration yeah wonderful so uh, if i ask about work and experiences so which of your company you have worked you have shared about that also already so uh, on to this further like your role and responsibilities in hr so how you uh, like uh, see them as from the first job till now so what are the change happening there how your role is evolving during these re- these years so yes i as i have mentioned that uh, i have started with the hospitality uh, companies where i think that the rules are very much you know need to be followed but now when i am here at, at exotic india it's not about exotic india it's not about the haldirams it's not about fil group it's about that throughout the time how we change how we gain the experiences from our mentors which we take as a mentor in inside us inside our organization or outside so how we take the things and how the way i we are taking the things you know so uh, again i would say that uh, we should not think uh, out of the box we should uh, break the box and think then out of the box basically so it's not that we just wanted to uh you know there are some barriers when at the at the industrial revolution we say that uh, we need to boss is boss boss is always right we need to work because there is no competition at that time and people have to work for them actually okay but now if you tell any employee that you are not working anymore you know you are not giving a good or you are not achieving your target or you are bullying the employees unnecessarily on the second day they give you a resignation and they say okay i am happy to go from here it's okay you can change take your work so the learning or the journey is like that you need to give them the path okay you need not to give them the target 
you need to give them a goal and give them a path to design that this is the way you can go you need to be a mentor of them you cannot be a boss you need to be a leader for them so that is what my journey is that how i change once before means i was talking about the boss things and now i am talking about the leader thing so leader needs to be there not boss that is what the gap is correct so if i uh, ask you your vision mission and goal in next 5 to 10 years from now so what do you think uh, that should be very frankly jitendra very frankly i would say that uh, i have no <laughs> goal for 5 or 10 years seriously as an hr maybe the people who are listening to me will say what type of hr she is she doesn't have a goal of 10 years and she is ask everyone to make a goal you know uh, but yes i ask everyone to make a goal for one year you know at least because that's how you can plan things goes change you know your environment goes change it's or not only all about you it's about where you are living the environment you know so you can not have a plan of 10 years kind of less i so i told you that i wanted to be a tedx uh speaker so yes my goal is for 2 years that after 2 years i wanted to see myself as a tedx speaker uh, with uh, motiv- such a motivation and inspirations if we talk about mission so my mission is uh, always that i want to have employee relations build up and in that form that is my mission towards the human resource community that to form a champion in employee engagement to conduct an employee relations stability that people should retain to you and there would be a uh, less attrition rate within the organization that is what my mission wherever i assist wherever i give my human resource tendency then there should be such an employee engagement activities or i say employment relations uh things it's not only activities which matter it's about the relation which you create with your employees so that is that is what my mission is towards the organization or my future organization so my present right. organization yeah. right that's great so uh, if i ask about the most important life lessons you have learned from your uh, personal as well as professional journey so far so what are those two three learnings you have so uh, personal uh, i would say that uh, again i as i am very fond of uh, psychology things that how people think and how they are delivering it so uh, my personal learnings are i have seen that how change management impacts other if you are right now at a stage that you can afford something you know uh, to uh, give your best out of it and sometimes when you are not afforded to give whether it is physical matter or whether it is emotional being or whether it is anything you know you are so change is what we need to accept you know as on personal being i would say so i have seen many people in my personal friends maybe a colleague who are peers but again they are out of the office or maybe my family when uh, we set an expectations from them and they don't deliver and we think that yes they are not delivering by their own or by, or maybe intentionally they are not but it is not the case sometimes change is there that people you saw 10 years before is not now the same correct as you know you, you cannot be like the same thing other person should means can change so change managements are change is constant itself change is the only thing which is constant towards the time so my lesson through personal life is that we need to accept the change otherwise uh, setting an expectations and never accept the change will lead you only to a boredom life or maybe you lead you into downwards life basically you need to be think a way upside that you could need to accept not put so much of expectations from others that's what the personal learning i got yeah the professional really yes i implemented i implemented all my personal journeys to my professional in a positive way so therefore all the uh, pro- professional learning comes out in a very positive and strengthening way in me when wherever i go by god grace my leaders my bosses always accept my opinions always accept my you know uh, initiatives and innovations maybe so i i'm just doing so many of initi- initiatives in my all organizations which i have mentioned i have done so many of initiatives there and they have accepted and therefore i am 
I'm I'm also happy in their world and they are happy in my world. So it's a vice versa. Your personal life do impact your professional. It is not that you need you can you know keep them vast. No, you cannot. Your personal life impact your professional life and vice versa. So the learning which you get from personal, it will impact your professional as well. So as I got a learning as a for the change management, I've accepted the change at that note. Therefore, I have implemented the change management in my professional life, and it got a big hit. in my career and big hit in this way positive of positivity hit. i'm mentioning yes so it's a right. big hit for me wonderful so uh, now if i ask you since you've been into hr for quite long and we have seen that uh, generative ai like chat gpt is very much actively changing life of many people so in what ways uh, chat gpt can be leveraged to enhance hr pro- processes and uh, improve employee experiences within the organization so yes chat gpt now is in very full form and we basically it is every hr is very fond of and so in the initial phase it was like that it will take so many jobs but it is not the way it is it cannot because in hr uh there is a human touch basically you cannot uh pass on the human touch from the human resources just by implementing an ai function but yes again the chat gpt can be used in many forms you can have all the onboarding and all the recruitment acquisitions part from the uh, chat gpt like generating your job description but previously if i have to uh, you know post some job i need to go to google and see search for that engine if my machine operates or a forklift operator what does it do if i am entering to a new uh, you know if as an hr i am entering to a new industry i need to understand about their industries protocol their designations how the titles work so now chat gpt gives gives you all thing in a formatted way just you just have to type that what forklift operator does what campus does what quality analysis does they will give you all a formatted database it it actually uh, save much of your time and energy and give you an comprehension uh, comprehensive way of uh, uh, basically data with you another is that in which vertical you can use you can use in onboarding as i explained you can use in your all format joining letters experience letters which ever show post letters any letters kind type of letter which hr use uh, you can take it from uh, chat gpt and uh, you can take all the training contents basically so whichever training soft skill training or technical training whichever training you wanted to imbibe in your organization you can take the content of that training from that however you can deliver it on your own basically it should not be a copy paste kind of thing you can take a help of chat gpt but you cannot be dependable on chat gpt right. so yes uh, you can use it in positive way where like multiple yes, ways yes yes so in multiple how- ways Yes, yes. So on, on to this further. Like how uh, ChatGPT can uh, be integrated into HR systems to streamline communication or provide instant support and enhance overall employee engagement. So uh, basically, if you say that ChatGPT can be used at the with an integrated form of chatbots, we can say so with many other platform. There is a Google platform, MS Outlook, uh, Microsoft Out, uh, platform, which gives you an access of uh, integrating as a, a chatbots. Basically, it gives an uh, HR a strength to uh, integrate that into your HRIS portal, your HRMS portals. Give uh, employees self service login to the employees so that they themselves can uh, take care of their data. They can see their master data. They can see their leads. They can see their uh, OKRs and goal settings and everything on their own while logged in into it. So you can integrate the ChatGPT with chatbots, and uh, you can do as much as employee self service you want it to give to your employees, whether it is a training, employee engagement, having fun activities with them using the chatbot bots. Even even you can create an virtual assistant with them. You can be a virtual assistant with them using ChatGPT integrations. Right. So it can be used in multiple ways. Correct. Right. It can be used. Yes, it can be used. It cannot be overused any time. Any time which is in ex- means anything which is in excess would harm. Actually, you need to make your mind because only human mind can be as much as creative. None of any AI can be a creative one. So a creativity comes from a human mind only. So you need to see that how you want to implement in your company. What is the objective of your company? Because it is a data driven thing. Charge it. You know, they give you. Right. Out of data, 
you cannot be 100% relying this. on this correct thing or any correct. any other application right so uh, on to this further like if i ask you like what potential challenges or consideration should hr professional be aware of when implementing chat gpt in their organization and how these uh, challenges can be effectively addressed to maximize their benefits so uh, as i understood your question you are asking about the challenges in chat gpt which we need to take care of as an hr professional so yes we need to take care of the data data and the privacy thing foremost so basically the anything data which we are if we are at the integrated phase and we are just you know just clouding our data in a way that it is uh, it is just fluttering in every uh, path so at the time of pilot run or basically at the time of uats when we do uat 1 2 3 we need to see that our data should be at the confidential space it should be at the uh, data relates to a privacy to an hr records so we need to be very confidential about it and data should not go uh, while integration process to any other desk so data needs to be taken care in a confidential manner and in a effective manner as well the data if you are using like the main mass the data or the leak data anything any data you are using uh, while in chat gpt you need to make sure that the objective should be met it's not that that if your objective is to give a work life balance to your employees and you are designing few of the policy to chat gpt but you are giving a wrong data to the system so you need to give the right data and you need to give in a confidential manner in a privacy manner basically right. so that it will not affect the whole hr objective of doing the work so this is the first and foremost thing which need we need to take care of other than that uh, what are the limitations uh, like uh, we need to take care of the sensitivity of our employees e- putting everything through chat chat gpt and without having human touch you know getting everything from chat bots and we want that employee can read out their grievances history can read out their everything on uh, chat gpt okay if somebody will come to you and you will say okay i have already put it on <laughs> chat gpt just look at your chat bots you know just log into your thing system and look that i have already resolved it so it is it should not be like that you should not be dependable on that just given human touch to your organization always if uh, so something can be sorted out of the ring it should be sorted out of the ring it's not that everything needs to be there in the systems or ai formats no it cannot it should not be right. so that is the thing hr needs to be very careful about other is what would happen is uh, when employee comes for any query question or any kind of complaint problem any anything so uh, mm-hmm. the hr would say go and check on chat gpt that will answer your queries no yeah yeah they will say that yes i have already uh, updated the status on chatbot look at your credentials and uh, just answer me from there only so it is uh-huh. not the way we should work like correct so human intervention is always needed because uh, until right. unless you have that you would not be able to find solution to many of the problems though it right. can uh, give you a basic understanding of the solution but actual solution mm-hmm. would happen with the human interaction so there are right. various positive aspects to it but still there are challenges too and you yeah, there are it out, but uh, we can something will come and some, you you can you can have uh, two water fell down you know there cannot be one thing that you can get and other thing need to lose actually so how to balance is your way how you would right. balance in your company because in your ne- i would say ne- never settle your principles you know which you have set for your organization never settle for that but yes you need to understand the other employees perspective because we are working for them hr need to understand that we are working for them actually okay right. yes but we need to balance the employer and employee expectations True. employer always will say i want business i want target to be done employee uh, always say we want leads we want work by balance we not need activities we not need fun you know so hr has to balance all these things and with chat gpt yeah. we can content wise we can take as much as we want from chat gpt creativity wise we have to apply our mind as well to use that content efficient true wonderful yeah. so now coming back to you again if i ask your uh, view on success what is uh, your like take on this what do you feel about success success 
for me is your inner satisfaction if you think that yes you are satisfied by what what you are doing in your role in wherever you are whether you are in mnc whether you are in a normal private company or serving an ngo or you are into you are canada america or wherever or maybe you are at it's about your satisfaction means if you have attain your inner peace and satisfaction that what whatever i am doing i am doing my best i am doing my 100% it is actually the success for me so i would say that yes i i am successful right now uh, by doing my job efficiently and 100% devoting to my career right now which is expecting out of me uh, through my boss right now so i am successful in my current job I, but i wanted to be successful in my future jobs as well for that the continuous learning need to be there so success is satisfaction right. if you are satisfied you are taking the success i would say right so that's really wonderful uh, thought now we are on last one any message or advice you would like to share with our viewers and listeners okay so the answer for the suggestions to the audience uh, is uh, actually as i said uh, that i have only 15 years of experience and uh, i am not the one who can advise anyone i can suggest people that to be empathetic to your employee as an human we need to have human touch always however the all other all other rules and regulations whether it is a compliance is a statutory things needs to be taken care of and i i know that every hr leader will uh, stand by with their it legal and admin team to get the work done and everything will be in productivity manner so that needs to be done for businesses but as an hr we need to understand our vision and our mission is that we need to have every employee be happy into well being they are taking care of their whole life cycle from entry to exit even the people who we have interviewed we, they are actually they have right to know the feedback of their interview as well whenever any person knock your door you know when in, at home also when somebody knock it knock your door you just open the door and you see here and there that who is there anybody has come or not means you inspect for it right but similarly uh, anyone who give you an application at your door you know for joining your team it is your responsibility to take care that who was there you need to give feedback to them that whether you are eligible or not or something like so from the entry i would say the uh first entry which they when they're knocking your door and to the exit then when they have done with the experience letter when they are done with the full and final settlements after that as well when their reference checks comes to an hr you need to be you know be in that uh, way that they were your employee whether it is a former employee they were in part of your company so be empathetic with your employees and yes as i always say to everyone never settle for, for your principles if you don't if your self principles and your organization objective whichever it is doesn't want you to go below the line so please don't go just feel your guts i always uh use my guts feeling i also go with my guts feeling always actually this is what how human work actually so i uh, but like we say in rome do as what romans do it is a long back proverb you know it's not necessary that if you are in rome you need to do what roman do okay so in any organization if you are you are not settling with your principles you have something new to comes up please uh, let you know let the organization open the doors for you let be innovative let's tell them that this is what we can do you know we can do to flourish whether you can achieve or not this is a different thing Okay, maybe you can achieve. Maybe sometimes you lose. That's okay. But you need to strive for it. You need to be. Uh, you need to go with it with an employer and employee. Both means to balance both people. So if you talk about employee, you need to be empathetic. You need to stay with their journey. And for employee, employer, you need to be initiative and innovative in a criteria that you can enhance the businesses in a new. new world you can say so that they can feel your difference you know so you have to make your impact so whenever you feel that yes you are an hr of a company just feel like that uh, you are a leader for the company you are the face of the company where every employee and everyone are will look at you actually that what sign you are giving to them are you giving a sign of note like this 
it means that you are in if you say that you know you are just staring to somebody it means that they are out they think like that people are like that they think that yes if hr is happy it means management is happy with me there is nothing to worry about if hr giving me a few uh, you know uh, very uh, jazzy emails like as is cause you have not done this you have not attained your target if hr is intervening in the emails it means something is wrong you know Uh, we need to take care of so basically give them a open arm uh, welcome so they can so that they can come to you any time with their grievances never be so strict or harsh to people but yes stick to your policies never ever by having empathy for people or by be by opening your arms and accepting them doesn't mean that you need to be you need to settle for with your rules never settle with your rules which are human resource rules rules or policies which needs to be adhered that needs to be adhered that cannot be compromised in any of the way whether it is your colleague peer junior or senior so human resource policies needs to be in that manner that you need to take care of your whole business objective because every hr policy every single guidelines of hr directs to the objective of a business so if you are just playing with the policies or giving unnecessary leverages to anyone it means you are shuffling your business objectives so that should not right. be correct yeah that's very really important and you rightly uh, pointed out the core role and responsibility of hr is not to uh, take side of one body or the uh, Or, or on the other hand they should be neutral to both the parties the organization okay. as well as the employees so they they are kind of bridge between both the uh, like uh, corners in the organization and they are, they are the true uh, support for both of them so that's really wonderful Correct. and uh, i must say the discussion we had was really amazing you have shared your journey how you started your career what all you did and how uh, you are impacting life of many people in the role of hr which is really important for any organization the role of hr really does matter without that uh, no organization i think can work flawlessly because uh, people are the core uh, like backbone of the organization and hr is mm-hmm. the managing uh, person correct so really important everything whether it is negative or a positive hr is the one who is actually in the middle of things and correct. we are managing it on our shoulders Yeah. Correct. So that's really uh, an important role for any organization. So really wonderful discussion we had, Sapna, and I really thank you for your time and energy. Uh, looking forward to hear more from you again soon. Thank you so very much for the. Thank you very much, uh, Jitendra, for giving me the platform to discuss about my experiences and for having me on the board of your channel. And uh, I hope that uh, you also have great success in your life. and uh, whichever objective whichever goal you have set it for you you will achieve that soon and thank you very much again to having me here and uh, coaching me it was nice talking to you and nice uh, nicely you have coordinated and arranged with me thank you very much thank, thank you. you so much and uh, equally uh, wishes for you your career as well and uh, also you. i will share your uh, social media link so that people can be in touch with you take your help and guidance sure. wherever they feel like so guys don't forget sure. to check that out too uh, i would like to message you. i uh, sorry yes, to uh, for winding up for winding up i would like to tell everyone that whosoever wanted to connect with me can connect at my linkedin platform i am very much you know on to it so if anyone would like to enter to my network professional network i want also wanted to learn from you as well i don't know whether you are a fresher or you are you know as i said that i love to i'm passionate about uh, having uh interacting with human minds so if you would like to get connect with me whether you are fresher or you're a very experienced holder please do connect with me i would like to uh connect and uh, share experiences with you thank you so guys don't forget to connect with uh, sapna so that you can exchange your views thoughts as well as opportunities also may come in your way so yeah <laughs> Thank you so very much everyone for watching and listening. I hope you all must have gathered a lot of information and enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good time. Thank you and bye-bye.